since the year 1991. This woman, she stood the watch. Wow, some of us were in our old bunks at night. This warrior, she stood the watch. When some of you were in school, learning your trade. Your leader, our leader, she stood the watch. Yes, even before some of you were born into this world, your mother, oh yeah, she stood the watch. In those years when the storm clouds of war were seen brewing on the horizon of history, this, this great American, she stood the watch. Many times she would catch the night ashore and see her family standing there, needing her guidance and help, needing that hand to hold through those hard times. But you never worry. They never worry. We, we never worry because you know, and please help me when I say that, God is good all the time. She stood to watch for over 26 years. She stood to watch so that we, our families, and our fellow countrymen could sleep soundly and safety each and every night. Knowing that a sailor, knowing that this warrior stood to watch, today we are here to say, shipmate, sailor, man, to watch stands relieved. Relieved by those that you have trained, relieved by those that you have guided, and relieved by those that you have led. Lieutenant Ensign, it is now time that you relieve the watch. Taught us that it's not where you start, but where you, how you finish. I have the watch now. Today, our Navy has given the pomp and circumstance, the honors, traditions, and ceremonies back to history. Time does not give us the freedom to do these things from the past, but we still take the opportunity to drop anchor and pay homage to one of our shipmates going ashore. Today, we honor the years served, the guidance, the leadership, the friendship, and the expertise that this shipmate has freely given for 26 years. Will the guests please rise for the departure honors? Chaplain Shaw will now deliver the benediction. Let us pray. Father God, we just want to thank you for what you've done here today. Hearts and minds are moved because of your spirit, not just the words. So God, we ask your blessing over Sister Price as he transitions into the next phase of the journey. I can hear a spirit saying, walk with me, Lord. Walk with me while I'm on this. Christian journey. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. She's fought the good fight. She's finished the race. She kept the faith. Foundations of her life testify today that there's a decision that everybody has to make. Choose ye this day whom you'll serve. There's death and life, I said before you, but, but choose life. She said, I'm not afraid. Why? Because my God is with me. You didn't give me the spirit of fear, but of, of love and of power and, and a sound mind. So she's leaving this place knowing that this season may be over, but you still got so much work for her to do. Give her favor wherever she goes. Order the steps of this family as they continue to encourage and draw closer to one another. We just want you to be glorified. Leave this place in peace. We ask all these things in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. Side boys, post. Uh, sorry. Side boys, cover. <coughs> Two. Left or right, face. Five step forward, march. Both 
stand by the pipe to side. A shipmate is going ashore. Ah, right, sir. Strike two bells. Lieutenant Commander Price, Nurse Corps, United States Navy, retired, departing. Strike two bells. <phone rings> Lieutenant Commander Price, Nurse Corps, United States Navy, retired, and family departing. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. I would like to thank all of the ceremony participants. All guests are invited to join Lieutenant Commander Price and her family for a reception luncheon immediately following the conclusion of this ceremony. Thank you for your attendance.